A Kia stolen out of Minneapolis crashed with another car late Sunday night in St. Paul, killing a 70 year old woman. Well, now her family is hoping that their plea will lead police to the driver who caused that crash and fled the scene. Poor Tao Hang was a singular most important person in our lives. The light has gone out of our world. If you know someone who was directly involved, share this information with the police. It is never too late to do the right thing. That crash underscoring a rampant problem in the metro, thefts of Kia and Hyundai vehicles. Earlier this week, we shared the numbers with you. Kia thefts up 1,300% just in St. Paul alone, and now we're hearing your stories. We want to bring in our Rose Schmidt now. So, Rose, you talked with one Kia owner. She's been a victim now more than once. She has, Amy, and there's nothing quite like walking out your front door to find out that your car has been targeted. Well, Lauren Hernandez knows that feeling all too well. In the last seven months, it's happened not once, not twice, but three times. She was once a big cheerleader for Kias. I was a really loyal customer. Like I was referring people left and right because I loved my car so much. But Lauren Hernandez's patience is wearing thin. I mean, I'm definitely not going to lease or buy with Kia or Hyundai again. Her story began last December when her leased 2019 Kia Soul was stolen from her parking lot in Minneapolis. It was then that Lauren first learned law enforcement officials say Kias and Hyundais are easy to steal because they lack an electronic security device called an engine immobilizer. At that time, she had a deposit down on another Kia coming up. I released with Kia with the promise that engine immobilizers were now in their new vehicles, and so I felt pretty secure making that choice again. A choice she now regrets. Her second car, a 2022 Kia Seltos, was broken into in March and then stolen in June. We would joke that lightning would not strike three times, but we just feel super unlucky. Police were able to recover the Seltos in St. Paul, thanks to the Apple AirTag tracking device she left inside. But she spent a month this summer without a car. It actually spent like more than 30 days in repairs because the shop that I went to had so many stolen Kias that they couldn't get parts in time to fix mine. After paying three insurance deductibles, she's now swapped cars with her future in-laws, feeling unsafe to park a Kia anywhere in the Twin Cities. So emotionally, I was going through it feeling pretty like violated and I'm still really, really paranoid. Now, in a statement earlier this week, Kia told us as of the current 2022 model year, all Kia vehicles have an engine immobilizer fitted as standard. Well, Lauren's second car that was stolen was a 2022, so we asked Kia how that could be, but they have not gotten back to us. Police, meanwhile, have advised Kia and Hyundai owners to invest in steering wheel locks to help prevent these thefts. But we want to note that Lauren says she put a steering wheel lock on her second Kia, and the thieves were able to get it right off. Randy, Amy. Wow, unbelievable. Well, that's unfortunate, right? Thank you, Rose. Mm -hmm.